Well, hail and well met fellow travelers. Welcome to the gatehouse for the Gizmonic Order. I am your Grandmaster. Cheers. Happy to have you here for our next installment in our Night of the Dead Survival series. This is episode eight. We have been doing a lot of stuff with the base. We've been surviving pretty well. We're after to try to get ready for the arrival of the Kaiju zombies. They are going to arrive on uh, night 10. But for right now, we are looking pretty good. I do want to talk about a couple of things that I did to improve the quality of the base. Um, and then also some changes to the trap base. The main thing is that I wanted to upgrade the trebuchets to start using explosive balls. So that means I'm going to have to upgrade the trap base and the house so that it can withstand some of those hits. So let's jump right in and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so the first thing I did, I think this is really important, is I went through and I tried to uh, upgrade the trap base. So I wanted to make sure that I upgraded all of the foundations to be the level three foundations. So not just handling fire, which they've been doing really well so far, but also handling the explosive damage that the trebuchets are going to be dealing out. So now what I wanted to do was upgrade that trap door to be a level two using electrical so that it could handle a lot more triggers than just having the 10 that come with the trap door by default. So here, just making some stuff to get all those things squared away. Uh, I got to make some electric wire because I'm a low. The good thing here was that I did have enough copper from my recent Waterstone adventure to actually be able to do all this stuff. So I had enough to make copper ingots and enough to make some copper wire for the electrical wires. And I'll go ahead and connect this guy over. And there we go. And yay. So now we've got four things powered off of that distributor. Feeling pretty good about things. So yeah, the two pendulums and the two trap doors. Now I'm looking at that battery for the trap base and uh, I've got some concerns there because there has zero power left. So let's go ahead and move over some stuff here so that we can actually get a little bit of stuff. I got 25, 50, and I got to repair that real quick. So I have three, not, so I have two different windmills powering this, which is giving me 50 power and I'm outputting 41 to power the standby for the base. That's not going to be enough. So I'm going to need to do some stuff here to get that up. Now I do want to upgrade my trebuchet, start using explosives. And so I do have to get the chemist skill. And then I also want to make sure I got that uh, master porter skill to increase my number of slots available. That's really handy skill for when you are scavenging. So I went ahead and got that. And I now have quite a few different options available. Let's go ahead and make some trebuchet bombs. There we go. That should be enough. Ooh, and I can actually carry them all. What a shock. All right, we'll head down over here. And then I'm going to have to unload the trebuchet uh, stones that are in here and then put these bombs in instead. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, I don't know how much space I've got, but I suspect I'm going to have problems. So ooh, that's a lot of trebuchet bombs. Do, 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 and there we go. Excellent. Okay, no more. Let's get all those stones out of there. Put those in the box. Good thing. Oh, hey, stop scrolling, would you? That is one thing I do wish the developers would fix, is that if for some reason you're right-clicking to transfer things, sometimes it'll start scrolling to the top of your inventory, which is really annoying. I find it a lot when I'm transferring things out of my inventory into my chests in the in the house. All right, there we go. And let's transfer those. Hey, hey, stop that again. Uh, stop it. Okay. Now let's load those bombs into the trebuchet. Cool. That looks pretty good. 
All right. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is uh, head out. I'm going to grab some of these bags while I'm out there. Um, I didn't do this after the last invasion, last wave last night. And then this is kind of funny. I don't know if you can see. There's there's actually four rabbits here. These barb spikes are really, really good at getting animals. So um, in case you don't have enough uh, traps set up, just set up some barb spikes and you'll probably get some more animals. See, there's, see there, I got I had two rabbits that were actually in the same space. I didn't even realize it. Ah, crap. Oh, here he comes. I hear him. I hear him. There he is. Ah, ow. 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 All right. Let's start a changeover. There we go. Ow. Dude is messing me up. Wow, that was really close. I almost got worked there. Guy had me for breakfast. Almost. All right. And this happened like five seconds later. There he is. There he is. Come on. Come on. Come here, come here. Robert. Robert. That was good. Now I'm surprised, but he managed to just completely hit my my shield a couple times. That was kind of good for me. Oh, that was a lucky shot. Okay, well, let's go grab that owl. Already seen quite a lot of wildlife, but on our way to go do some scavenging here. Uh, I think this is a stag. I, huh. Okay, let me go. One of the reasons I go after stags is because they do have stag skin, and then they have the antlers, and those are really good for upgrading your equipment later on. You are going to need for higher level equipment upgrades, you are going to need to have the stag skin. Now I'm kind of zipping through this place here. This is a little bit later in the day. Um, and I'm kind of showing you what I do when I'm trying to clear an area like this. This is a very large space um, to the west of where I am. So what I'm doing here, though, is um, I don't go actually in and clear out all of the stuff in here yet. What I want to do is I want to try to clear it as zombies first so that I have time later on to do that at my leisure, sort of, in a way. So I just kind of go around here, uh, try to tried to get a <laughs> tried to get a deer that failed and then birthday here. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Um, sort of exploded those arrows all over the place. When she died. Here we go. Oh, hello. All right. One of those dudes managed to get him. And what? what uh huh? What the hell is that? Um, yeah, that, that's a hard pass, guys. Hard pass. And you can see here, I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, forgot to like, you know, stock up on bolts. <laughs> so. Uh, let's make some bolts, and then I've got enough to go forward from there. I'll grab all of our stuff, kill that dude. Uh, check over here, check over here. I think we're all good, actually. All right, let's uh, start deconstructing stuff. And one thing to remember is if you are being chased by zombies, is you can go up. So remember that there are opportunities for you to actually jump up and avoid having to uh, encounter them on the ground. So make sure that you're thinking about all of the areas that are available to you, not just those areas that are ground level. Now I did that um, and unfortunately I got an inventory full, so I had to head back to the um, to the base and drop off some stuff and then I came back and I had to clear the space out real quick but I wanted to show you this is pretty funny headshot headshot oh yeah oh yeah headshot. oh yeah headshot. yes ultra kill so this is the area that I was exploring is the space just to the actually just to the southeast of town 
Um, and that's a really good spot. Now, I did want to make sure I upgraded my house a little bit, again, to make sure it was going to at least be fire resistant because I was going to be hurling a lot of explosive material around. So I went through and started to upgrade some stuff. And what I was noticing is that there are some gaps and some really weird spacing, and you can see right here, I think this is from the upgrade. The new upgrade has, has created these spaces somehow. I, I just think it's like where the 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 texture or where the objects got placed. Um, and I think they got shifted a little bit with the upgrade. So I decided to go ahead and just simply upgrade stuff. Um, I had to repair a couple things here, obviously, as well. But I wanted to see what I could do to, re to actually resolve some of the problems. And so I went ahead and demolished this roof. I did it with a couple other places. I still need to do that wall that's right in front of me. Uh, I got to move that guy over because he's still got that gap between him and the wall next to him. But I was trying to get this guy placed. And I tell you, I just I don't like that these things don't snap. Um, you really have to kind of play with it and get it to be like you like it's almost in the right spot. And then when you, you, you get it there, it's like, is that right? I, you know, maybe it's, it's so hard to tell sometimes. So one of the requests that I've had is to upgrade the lighting and add lights to the trap base so that people could see what was going on. And that's a perfectly reasonable thing to request. And so I went ahead and did that. One of the things I did find is that for the pendulum is that you can't add lights to the middle of it inside. You have to add it to the ends only. So that's an interesting little tidbit. Um, I also wanted to add something to the outside here so that it was clear like who was attacking the foundations rather than coming up the stairs. I also added some lamps out into the middle area so that we would have that available for a visibility of what was coming down. And one thing I did notice about my power consumption was that it was really not so good um, later on. So I wanted to go ahead and add a couple of windmills so that I would have better power generation and that I was more likely to be able to power the traps that I currently have, as well as the trebuchets, but also to have room for future expansion because I did want to make sure I was going to, I mean, I am going to add more traps to this base. Um, and so I want to make sure I've got enough power to be able to handle those additional traps. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, little boar. Um, yeah, you, you should probably go away. That would be great. Oh, okay, maybe. Ah, thank you. All right. So for each of these lamps that I added out into the field, I do want to put some protection around them. So I am going to put some barbed spikes around them so that they are less apt to get destroyed by the zombies who come through because they don't like them. Um, and this way, at least I'll have some protection for these things. I'm only going to put four out here for each of the new lamps and I'll maybe extend it later and maybe add a couple more for the additional, you know, make it a full six like I have on the other ones. But um, for now, this is just sort of like to keep them distracted a little bit so they don't get too far and they don't blow up these lamps uh, immediately upon encountering them. That guy's a little off, but that's okay. All right. Well, let's just go out and get this last guy. All right. And then I, a little bit later on, I came back after I had some rope and some logs <laughs> and finished up great. There we go. Now, all of the new lamps have those barbed fences around them and we should be good to go. Now, the wave has started and actually started about five minutes ago. <laughs> Um, but because these guys are coming from so far away, I actually went out, I slaughtered that boar, I, I processed that boar, and then I went and went back into the house, I took care of some things. My trebuchets have been blowing up dudes at the tree line, and I had a whole little, like, sort of mini wave, the beginning of that wave, that came through, and it never made it anywhere near my trap base, or my regular base. So, uh, I am here now, though. They are getting a lot closer, so we are going to see what we can do here. And there's a lot of dudes coming. <laughs> I think there were a lot of small guys in that first initial thrust, and I don't think that they made it past the, the outer limits there. Now, here come a lot of dudes. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned about this. There's a lot of guys here, and these guys are bigger boys. 
Um, now some of them are on fire, which I'm liking. Alright, there's... Wow. Oh, dude! <laughs> that got vaporized. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, these half walls are absolutely doing their job. I'm loving them. They're doing a great job. It's so good. I have avoided so many hits from random guys, from the lumberjacks, from the diseased guys. Put it a little neat right there. Um, and, uh, yeah, whoa, what hell? <laughs> There's a I, don't, I don't know how he got yeeted. Did it from the pendulum? That was funny. Um, but I've avoided so many, you know, kind of getting hit from the side with that stuff. It's kind of amazing. And another yeet. There we go. <laughs> There's a lot of eating going on here. Oh, hi. How are you? Can you go away, please? Thank you. Those lumberjacks, man. I want them to leave. All right, hey, stop attacking my house. What the hell, man? Stop. Did you... Alright, let's see. What are you gonna do? On the ground. Alright, come on. Let's let's go get you again. And oh wait, you. you oh, okay, good. You you've moved over to try to come get me. Oh, oh, never mind that. There you are. Hi. I, I will shoot you in the back a couple times. I got no problem doing that. Stop attacking my stuff. Stop it. Oh, go away. Crap. Cool. They can put the best. <laughs> well, that pusher's doing its job, isn't it? Oh, and right into the pit. Yes. I love. It. Oh wait. I think there's a guy down in that other pit. Oh. Oh my God. You know, someday I will not do that. But today is not that day. All right, I don't think I can hit that guy from there. Would you? Oh my God. That dude just will not go away. There's, there he is. Let's there we go. Oh damn, that was messy. <laughs> that dude just got splooted all over the place. Well, the pendulum did its job. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's go down and get these guys. Just collect the stuff, stop it from building up too much. Grab that, thank you very much. All right, I think we're doing okay though. I mean, they haven't really made it that far yet. It's pretty good. Uh, oh my God, my house, my house. My house is on fire. I got to repair it so it doesn't burn down. Okay, no, yeah, I'm not obviously a rapper. Uh, but yeah, no, my house is on fire. I don't, I, I don't like that. Um, I, I tried. I, I did as much as I could. <laughs> I need more stuff. I need more stone is the problem. I'm, I, I ran low on stone and I couldn't finish upgrading everything so that it would be, a, so that it would be resistant to the explosive damage and the fire damage. I think that dude's dead. No, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that he, I, he might be dead there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing the birds right now. Uh, usually you don't hear those till after the battle is over. But there you are. Come on, Trebs. All right, I got a lot of stuff to process when I get back here. Ow! That hurt. Right, I, I need some branches. Let's, let's make some branches, shall we? Let's be careful. Going downstairs. We're going to burn ourselves. There we go. Excellent. Lots of branches. Cool. Now let's repair stuff. Repair. Okay, cool. All right. Get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. Oh, man. It lit my stuff on fire again. Dude, what the? What the? Oh, come on. Wow. This, okay. This is all. Look at that. The placement of all these pieces. It's all jacked up. Man. All right. I'm going to have to go through this at some point and really repair this. I'm not trying to upgrade. Thank you very much. Appreciate you playing, but stop. Okay, last repair. Is that going to hold? God, I hope so. Please, trebuchets, do not blow up my house again. That would be really nice. All right, there's dudes out here beating up on my house, I can tell. Um, 
And I'm hoping we can draw him back to the trap base here. Let's find out. Ah, hi. How you doing? Ooh, well, someone got squished. Oh, hi. What are you doing over there? You loser. Are you attacking my trebuchets? Are you attacking my trebuchets? soften these guys up a little bit so that they don't take quite so much damage. They can get get killed by the trap stuff pretty quickly. That's a lot of guys. This is a really interesting viewpoint because you can kind of see everybody off on the side and oh my god. That was very messy. You know, I'm glad I don't actually have to clean this up after these waves, because this is just gross. Oh, that dude fell right in the pit. Right. You move along. Move along. Alright, okay, good. Reload. You know, I got 270 rounds. I'm doing alright. Yeah, I killed both those guys. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, that dude just got vaporized too by the ventilator. Oof. I gotta say, I am so thankful for these half walls. They are doing exactly the right thing here. Exactly what I need, need them to do. It's exactly what I need them to do. To protect me from this uh, random shooting these guys do. Throwing logs at me or uh, throwing hatchets at me. Whatever it is, you know, they're doing a pretty good job of protecting me from all that stuff. So that's good. All right. Let's uh, take all that. And repair that. Let's take that. Take that. Let's head back. Um, I gotta say, I am really pleased with how much uh, more visible it is here. Um, do you hear that? There's a dude here, so where the hell is he? Okay, I think it's behind me. Oh, there's a lot of guys coming. Hold on. But where is this guy? I don't see him down there. He's not down there. Where the hell are you? Wait, what? Oh no, this is kind of cool. Watch this. I noticed this. Each of the shell casings has its own physics. And so some of them are bouncing off the compressor and falling down. Others are going past it. Each shell has its own physics. I mean, nice attention to detail, guys. Nice attention to detail. Ow! Wow. Oh, God, that's so messy. Oh, okay. Avoided getting sick. Nice. Squish. Come on. Squishy squish. This is great. People falling off on the sides. They run around. They get hit by the pusher. They hit the spikes at the bottom, they then come back upstairs, they get hit by the pendulum. Yeah, it's just, this is like working out exactly. This is really not changed significantly from day two. I mean, honestly, this is about the same that we had on the second day. And we've upgraded the quality of these things. Come on, die. Oh, damn, bro, he's still alive. Okay, well, I don't think he is anymore, but he was <laughs> after that trebuchet hit him. Alright, 
I, you know what? I think I might have actually run out of uh, charges on my uh, cutter there. Ooh! Um, okay, he turned into a fine mist of blood and brain. And I... God, I think that might actually be it. I think so. That is all. So our upgraded trap base worked pretty well. We made a couple of additions to it. We obviously upgraded everything so that it was resistant to explosive damage, which I think was the important thing to do here. Um, and um, yeah, I, I think that worked out pretty well. We'll just go down here, grab a couple things. Let's try not to hit these barbs. Phew, okay. I had some level of confidence as we will do that. Let's go check over here. Um, those guys are really far out. I might want to change that. Um, looking at our uh, power, we're actually pretty good. We've got quite a bit of power left there. And that dude dropped something. The trebuchets are lower. They're about half of their battery left. Um, and that was a full night. That was, wasn't too bad. So, so that is our episode. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed the episode and you are still here, please... Uh, please click that uh, like and subscribe button. And uh, and then again, if you click that bell icon, then you'll get notified when I post up new videos. Uh, I am trying to make the Night of the Dead episodes every week on Tuesdays. I have not been doing a great job of that, uh, mostly because of my real life stuff. But I am trying to see what we can do to make that happen on a regular basis. So please check back. And if you click that notification bell, then you'll get notified when I post a new one. Um, Next episode, um, I think I'm going to have to do some upgrades to the trap base. I'm definitely going to need to be, um, I have got some ideas for some massive undertaking. So look for that episode. Episode nine is going to be through the roof, man. Um, and uh, thank you so much for coming along. Appreciate it. Hope you had a lot of fun and we will catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot.